Hi everybody, welcome back to another CYT Crypto episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison and today we're going to be looking at how to install the Phantom Wallet. Now, if you're in the private sales group for CYT, um, for the Hidden Gems, if you're in private sales and you bought a couple of private sales, you'll know coming up we've got Metamall. So that's coming up, so you need to install the Phantom Wallet. It doesn't have to be the Phantom Wallet, but I'm going to show you how to install that because that seems to be the best one um, for Solana. So let's jump straight over and we'll show you how to install the Phantom Wallet. First of all, we're going to go to Phantom, P-H-A-N-T-O-M dot A-P-P, Phantom dot app, um, and make sure it's a secure link, make sure it's the correct one. I'll put a link down below for you. And simply we're going to go to that site and just click on Add to Chrome. Now I'm using the Chrome browser for this. You can use this for Brave as well. I'm not using the Brave browser because I've already installed it on my Brave browser. So we're going to click on Add to Chrome comes up here, Chrome Web Store, Phantom, you can see it's been downloaded by 2 million users. Make sure when you're looking at it, it is this one, phantom.app, and it's 2 million users plus. If you've got any less than that, it's not the correct Phantom Wallet, just in case there are scams out there. Okay, so click on Add to Chrome, and it just says it can read and change all your data on your websites. Click Add Extension, it's fine. And we'll save. So that's it now added to Chrome. And what we want to do is pin it. So I'm going to go to here and pin it so it shows up. So we create a new wallet and you're going to get a secret recovery phrase. So click on that and to copy it. So I've copied that. Okay, I've saved it somewhere. So normally what I would do in that situation is write it down. Um, and a kind of notebook or something which you can then put outside um, of the house so it's fire safe as well and there's loads of different places you can do that um, so you can do that as well or you can keep it somewhere safe on a computer or a thumb drive or hard drive or whatever you want to do I wouldn't keep it on the same drive as your computer as well um, what we've said in the group to keep your password safe etc is to use an old laptop that you've not been using, that you don't use at all. You just use it for MetaMask and it could be your Phantom Wallet now as well and keep things stored on there. But it's not connected to the internet at all times. Um, so it's only when you're going to be using MetaMask or the Phantom Wallet. I would prefer to keep on an old laptop as well. But I also like writing it down, keeping it, put it outside the house as well, just to make it fireproof or you can get a fireproof box. Anyway, that's gone into security. That's going to put in a password, strong password, click on continue, but you can get access to the wallet by clicking on option shift P. So we'll do that just now just to show you. Option shift P and it comes up with the wallet. Okay, so we continue with that. And that's it, just saying we've all done. So we've finished it. So we'll now look at the phantom wallet. So this is it here. You can see it's wallet one and it's got the address. You can click on it to copy the address. If you want somebody to send you tokens, you can do that as well. But we can click on this just now. And we can edit the name. So we can edit the name is demo one wallet. And that's that done. We go back. And we can deposit. We can deposit using MoonPay or transfer from FTX. Uh, and you can deposit all these as well. And when you click on one of those, it gives you the address to copy it to. And you've got a QR code there as well. So you can send it from other wallets. Or you can get somebody to send you. So close that. Next window down here is for your collectibles. If you're going to go for NFTs or anything like that. And you've also got a swap on Solana as well. Um, recent activity has got, and it's got the sentence here, just like MetaMask um, as well. And that's really it. That's you set up, um, just as safe as MetaMask is on your browser as well. So just heed the kind of um, security measures for MetaMask. If you're going to use this, lock it after every single use. So lock, and it makes you put in your password again. Uh, and that's in case any hackers get into your computer or whatever, or the keystroke in you. So you want to lock your wallet every single time you use it uh, or after you use it uh, and don't open it again until you're going to obviously um, use it. Enter password again, unlock it and that's you ready for use. 
And as I said, all you need to do is copy your address there and send some salt to yourself or other tokens as well. It's got all the tokens here that you can send. And that's it. That's basically how you install your Phantom Wallet. But be careful, be very, very careful when you're, uh, I'm not trying to put fear into you, but when you're using the wallet, MetaMask or Phantom or any other wallet you've got on an extension, um, make sure you're keeping your browser up to date. Make sure you lock after every use and make sure you've got your secret key phrase stored safely as well. Um, so that's what I would do in this situation. Obviously, you can go a wee bit further than that. Um, that's for another video, though. But that's basically it for the Phantom Wallet. Um, you're going to need that if you're in the private sales group for the CYT Crypto Hidden Gems. Um, if you're in the private sales, you'll know MetaMall is coming up as well. So we'll need that for the 15th of February. That is. Um, so that's where we need that. And we've got other kind of private sales we've got into that are using the saw. Excuse the bang, we've got people moving in downstairs. So it's a pain in the arse just now. So yeah, you're going to need the saw address for lots of different things. Okay, until next video. Namaste, take care, bye now.